What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology in this tutorial i'm going to talk about neo4j so okay so this will be uh, tutorial okay sorry guys so this will be tutorial tutorial 25 and in this tutorial i'll be going to talk about uh, mathematical operators like uh, like um, uh, uh, plus uh, plus sign minus sign uh, or kind of like um, multiplication operator modulus operator div division operator and all those things so operators so before uh, like um, so let me just explain this thing quickly so with uh, with 2 as a 3 as b return to sorry return a into b as result so this is going to return 6 6 okay so this is one mathematical operator the second operator is going to be oops sorry mm, this so this is going to be 5 so the similarly we can do this thing let's say minus so this is going to be one okay the so a minus b so okay yeah minus one definitely and we can do something like this as well so zero this is not divisible then probably we can do something like this the reminder okay reminder okay so all these are uh, kind of mathematical operator this is very simple this is nothing to do with python or neo4j the main thing is that how you are going to use those things let's say uh, for example uh, um, i'm not sure where is my favorite scripts i had some scripts written okay sorry just leave it okay so match n okay so there is some sort of like ids like let's say here is one id here is one id so we can kind of do some sort of like what you say like some sort of mathematical operation on top of that but that is not the main important thing but the main important thing is like how many uh, different sort of mathematical operators are available for say there are some sort of comparison operator as well like this so this is going to return false see false and if you do in a different way like less than then it is going to return true because definitely 3 is greater than 2 so that is why it's true so what you whatever we have seen till now is mathematical operator and then like uh, what do you say like comparison operator like greater than less than we have like comparison operator mathematical operator for mathematical operator we have greater than less than less than equals to and greater than equals to and as well as like equals so if we like this okay 2 and if we just see like this this is going to true okay and not equals to is there as well so this is going to return false see like this so we'll see each and every thing from python as well so this is very simple thing so first thing first from neo4j import grab database and next thing is going to be driver equals to driver uri so till now i think all of you are familiar with this sort of like syntax right so bold protocol address here then auth equals to this neo 4j and then okay we create then some sort of session okay like this 
next thing our query q1 okay and here okay so with a sorry two as let me just make it caps a three as b return a b as okay so now if we run this thing okay so let's see what is going to happen now oh sorry <laughs> sorry guys did a mistake for xx in x print x so let's try this thing again see result is 6 if we change this thing from this to this this will be five okay I, I'll, I'll show each and every one again again and again okay minus one so now what I'll do I'll create eight and we'll make it like two and then I will use this thing so now this should be four and if I use modulus then it will be zero zero so uh, plus minus uh, uh, multiplication division and this modulus division operator we have seen so there are total five mathematical operator we have seen so in the next tutorial what i'll do i will try to create some sort of like a comparison operator tutorial like less than greater than or less than equals to greater than equals to and equals to and not equals to so we'll we'll see that in the next video so this is the guys these tutorials are very uh, basic and this is the basic building blocks for data manipulation so if you do not know the basic operator then you will be facing some sort of problem so there is nothing to do with python or nothing to do with like um, high hard code graph database logic kind of a thing this is purely cipher thing and if you uh, know the theoretical part of the cipher query then you will uh, easily understand so for this thing you have to uh, read read the documentation of the cipher that is the official documentation if you go to google and search with neo4j cipher manual you will get all the information so i wrote the i read this uh, like kind of what i see i hmm, I uh, read those uh, like documents uh, tation like uh, four or five months ago and after that I started uh, applying those things in my project or assignment and from there actually start getting some sort of confidence so until and unless you are not reading those things and after that not applying those things for your own purpose or for your own interest then uh, then only you will be able to uh, like get some sort of confidence or uh, actual learning so from my video and only get the idea about how to do it and what is the operator but until and unless you are not doing this thing you will not going to remember because definitely will forget this thing so enough of talking guys i have to prepare for the next video as well but the next video is going to be very small like we need to talk about only comparison operator so probably you can upload that video i can upload the video to today only okay guys uh, that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and please subscribe to our channel and uh, let me know with your feedback like how you are how you how guys are uh, like finding our videos okay so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care and goodbye